So we know that the Pac-12 has backfilled four of their slots already. So you got Oregon State, Washington State, Colorado State, San Diego State, Fresno State. They're all going to be joining the uh, conference. So they have six teams that are joining. And the biggest question is, how does this work? Because they still need two more teams. And yes, there's the Tulsa and the, and the Memphis conversation. But check this out, or Tulane in Memphis, or UTSA in Memphis, whoever it is. Think about this part of the conversation because we had Ole Miss play Wake Forest. Ole Miss beat Wake Forest 40 to six. And then the report came out. This is the most important thing. Nobody paid attention to this. Ole Miss 40, Wake Forest six. Then after the game, Lane Kiffin talks about that their athletic director had uh, called and said that they were canceling next year's game, that Wake Forest was gonna pay $1.6 million to not play Ole Miss next year. So you're like, okay, it was a 40 to six win. This isn't like an FCS playing, you know, an SEC team. This, this isn't that. So why would they cancel the game, okay? Well, the Pac-12 is already backfilling. Uh, Florida State, Clemson, and everybody else is already preparing to get out of the ACC some kind of way. So what I believe that we could be looking at is Wake Forest positioning itself for the ACC breaking up and them not wanting the schedule to look like that because it's not going to work for some reason. Because why would you cancel a game next year right before this game right after the Pac-12 announces that it's backfilling with four teams already. And we know that they are looking to do more. Now these things don't happen in a vacuum. So watch the ACC over the next couple weeks, couple months about a breakup coming like that now it feels imminent so this 40 to 6 wake forest game that uh old miss game that people are like oh okay no that had a deeper meaning because of the post-game press conference <laughs>